All right, y'all. I just got to my dad's house. And, uh... We're gonna go bother him a little bit and check on my little baby orchard. Can you see me? At all? Oh, the lilies are up. Haha. <laughs> hey, lilies. Was he sleeping? <laughs> All right. So let's see some of the plants. Got yellow daylily. What? That's not daylilies. That's something else. If I don't pull that out of there, it's probably gonna take over the whole thing. But the orange daylilies are up. I got. It goes orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, orange. The size of my sunflowers. Yeah, they're they're grouped a little tight together, and they've got four clocks growing in with them. Mm. Oh man, look at them! These are Titan sunflowers. This is the biggest variety of sunflower that you can get, to my knowledge. Catnip, little catnip. Oh, pretty little catnip flowers. Plenty of hosta. These are dahlias. We'll see if they do anything. I don't know if I'm gonna keep those or not because I guess you have to dig them up every year, and I ain't got time for that. But I got more four clocks planted out. They're doing okay. We've got Asiatic lilies. Oh, look at that. It's my Nico Blue Hydrangea. That's my Annabelle Hydrangea. And this is a very special red Hydrangea, and I don't remember the name of the variety. kind of beetle is that oh that's the kind we got to kill that's the kind of beetle we got to kill because that's gonna turn around and eat my my lilies oh there we go well that one was too quick for me but get more of my lilies that's the type of beetle that did that to them look at that it's almost black Look at what these beetles do to my lilies. That's fucked up. That's something moving in the bushes over here. Maybe it's my neighbor. Better not be a fucking monster. I have to kill it. Bite it. With my own teeth. Alright. Oh man. This is my mulberry bush. This thing was absolutely loaded. My mulberry tree that's in a bush form. But my dad has been out here eating them. But man, these mulberries this year, they had so many berries on them, they were almost like grape clusters. So, you can see a lot of them on the ground. Hopefully a lot of them ended up in my dad's belly. I got a lot of them too. But, I mean there was just a ton of them. We have uh, two productive black mulberry trees. One's in a shrub form and one's in a very big tree form. This one here is a very big bigger tree uh, shrub form but does not produce berries for some reason oh this here where all the cherries go where all the cherries go 
This is a sour cherry tree. What's something? They eat all the freaking cherries? Mmm. Sour pie cherry. Actually, that ain't bad. But yeah, if you look at that, looks like something been chewing on it. Looks like something ate all the cherries. I can't show you. Um, even though this tree is really kind of... It's got this, uh, I don't know, it's, it's seen better days. You see, it's got this big thing here. I cut this off. I cut that off. It's got this thing here. But it's still, it's got a new shoot here that's beautiful. It's still growing because I pruned all the dead stuff off. Pruned that off. It grew really good, man. Man. Something ate all the, the, the pie cherries. Check out this awesome corn I'm growing. Wait till you see this stuff. Uh, I forget the variety, but man, this is like the world's best corn. It's not a sweet corn, it's like a grinding corn. Wait till you see it. It's um, grown for like uh, uh, situations where there's not a lot of uh, water and everything. Here's a couple of tomato volunteers. This is my new Stella sweet cherry tree. I got it before it leafed out, and it's doing absolutely beautifully. Yeah. My dad calls this thing a wandering Jew. I know that is the proper name for a plant. I think that's this plant. Um. Here's some shrubs, just a bunch of shrubs I have here. And they grow so well, even though they're totally like clustered together. Um, these are it's red red twig dogwood, arrowwood, and I've done hedgerows of both. Pussy willow, got button bush in here. Um, fucking bugs, man. And uh, purple leaf sand cherry. Nope. Uh, beach plum that is, not sand cherry. Beach plum. I right, got. Raspberry, got a blackberry that's kind of struggling to come back. Uh, I got a red and black chokeberry. I got pink lemonade blueberry. You got blueberry. Got another tomato volunteer. Sweet. Fucking bugs are coming to my headlamp. Oh my god. Little maple there. Oh yeah, more. <laughs> This is a uh, Elvira. It's a wine grape. Coming up good. Coming up good. The, oh, this is our white mulberry tree. And this I will be propagating the heck out of. See, um, there's actually like a cluster of like five trees or so. And wow, look at the production on this. Man, those shoots came out. It's what happens when you prune. Comes back beautiful. Anyways, um, you can see, these are white mulberries, and they are not quite ripe yet. But when they get ripe, they'll be, oh, eh, that, there we go, there we go. Oh. When they get ripe, oh shit. Oh, shit. Ah, well, I, I can't really get the angle right, but, it's ripe. Oh my god, they're good. But not many people have white mulberries, so I will be propagating those. Oh, oh where did that go? Come here. Hmm. Anyways, you can tell there's some red mulberry coming out here too something. Anyways, here are some of my pawpaws growing and something been eating their leaves a little. I think it was like a slug or something, but man, they're doing good. I got them kind of like with tomato cages and plastic around them because you got to keep them from direct sun for at least the first couple of years. Another one. 
Oh, look at my volunteer tomatoes, man. Volunteer tomatoes taking off. There should be another pawpaw here, but... See, I ordered, I ordered some from one grower, and dude, he gave me these things, and they were like four inches tall, and he actually did give me money back for a lot of them, because I complained. I was like, you might want to wait until they're bigger to sell them, because <laughs> you get them somewhere else, and they're usually about a foot tall, and they're like second season, I don't know. Here's the one that I got from them that survived. It's little, it's doing good. So those are seedling pawpaws, and the rest of them are like grafted varieties. Another one. There's another one. So I got five, maybe six pawpaws there. Oh, here is a fig tree, Chicago Hardy. This is Hardy female Anna. Anna, Hardy kiwis. Meter, there's the males. Two more females, Anna's, and another Chicago hardy pig. Under the white mulberry trees. All right. Now, now, now. Oh wow. So if you look at the ground, see all this like growth here. Um, that's gonna be rainbow shard. This is spinach. I got regular shard planted out. I have some regular lettuce planted out. Here we go. Man, these bugs are ferocious. They love my light. Mm. Man. Man, I love some lettuce. Oh, man. That was good. Mm, spinach. Oh my god. Alright. This. Oh shit. These bugs are killing me. I'm gonna have to get through this. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Alright. This is my Harco Nectarine. Self dwarfing. Doing awesome. Also got that before it was leafed out. There's a paw paw. Oh. Here, here's our other, this is our other uh, black mulberry tree. I mean, if you could just see like how, I don't know, this was so prolific, how do you say that? There was a ton of berries on this thing. I'm still producing. Oh my God. Berries were like grape clusters on this beast. Hmm. Look at oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Ah. Hmm. <coughs> you say you got production like this all the way up. The birds have been feeding on the top layers. Hopefully, they leave the rest of my shit alone. Oh man. Oh, if you could just see how many berries there are on this thing. And this is this is like taming down. All right. To give you an example, look at the ground. Alright, this is covered with berries. Like I said, and there's still plenty of white ones. Black ones ripen. Oh God. All right, I'm gonna come back to this. Y'all don't need to sit there and watch me eat berries all night. Another papa. Mm. Papa. Papa. How big the leaves get? I'm sure they get bigger than that too. Papa. Tomato volunteers. These are either squash, or pumpkin, or some melon or something. Papa. More squash, melon, pumpkin, maybe. More volunteers. Papa. Papa. And my dad threw some tomato, uh, uh, potatoes. 
Let's put probably parts of potatoes into the compost pit here and they're gonna do awesome. I just let them grow because I started a new compost pit over here. And I gotta dump compost in it tonight while I'm here. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna stop this video. You get the idea. My baby orchard is doing real good. I'm gonna go eat some more berries. Thank you. Have a great night. Whatever you're doing. God bless.